Okay, this is how you make uh, your pack attack flash animation. So click on flash document and what we're going to do is double click here and this is our background and just use the line tool and if you click once on the page and then look down here you can choose the line thickness. See that's probably a little bit thin, so control Z. I'm going to change it to about three and I'm going to change the line colour to blue. And now I'm just going to do a little maze. I'm doing this really quickly. So and I'm holding the shift button down so that it jumps to a more straight vertical or horizontal or diagonal line. Okay, so this is my basic maze, which I've done on my background layer. Now I'm going to right click and insert layer, and this is going to be my first Pac-Man, so I'm going to call it Pac-1. Now I might, if you look across to here, you can zoom in quite a lot and it doesn't matter really where you do this Pac-Man as long as it's on the right layer. To make your Pac-Man, make sure you're on the Pac-Man layer, then click on the oval tool and drag a sh shape on the page. To make sure it's circular as opposed to oval, you can hold the shift button down on your keyboard. You use the line tool Okay, so that's my Pac-Man. Now, importantly, you need to convert it to symbol. So, before I drag a box around, I'm going to lock the background so I don't make any changes there. Now I'm on the selection tool and I can drag a box around my Pac-Man and then modify, convert to symbol. I'll call it Pac-1 and click OK. Now, because I've converted it to a symbol, I can now double click it and make it animate. See I've got two layers on my timeline here. Well if I double click on it, this is my separate timeline for my Pac-Man. So if you hit F6 you've now got two frames. Make sure that you have the second frame selected and I'm going to use the erase tool to just change how the mouth is so you draw in your lines and you it can be as detailed as you like and basically I've got two layers one with the mouth closed and one with the mouth open now to get back to your main timeline you click this arrow here and what that means is now as we move this around it should open and close its mouth. If you want to see this working just click control and test movie and you can see how the timeline for the Pac-Man is going automatically opening and closing the mouth. To get out of this preview mode, if you just scroll across to the right side, click the little black X here, and then you're back on your timeline. So I'm going to zoom out a bit, and I'm going to move my Pac-Man to just off the screen here, and I'm going to make this animation background lasts for about 80 frames so I unlock and I click on the 80th frame and click insert timeline frame now I go back to the Pac-Man layer and I'm going to do the same thing so 80th frame on the Pac-Man layer insert timeline frame now I'm going to use motion tweening, so you just right click anywhere along this bar, right click, create motion tween. Now I want my Pac-Man to move from here to here, so I'm going to 
click on the tenth frame of the Pac-Man layer, make sure you're on the selection tool, and you can move your Pac-Man to here. So how does that look? You can see he's moving like that. Now I want him to rotate, so he's actually pointing down this way. So I'm going to do that in between the 10th and the 15th. So I click on the 15th, and if you click on here, and then be careful when you double click that you're not, you don't want to go into this separate timeline for the Pac Man. So click the back arrow and then you should be able to rotate it. There may be another way to do this, but this is the only way I know how to. So how's that worked? Okay, so now on the 25th frame, make sure there's a black box under there that you haven't just done the playhead. You have to click on the black box here and then move your Pac-Man to where you want him to go. There we go. So now I'm going to give him five frames to rotate. So make sure you're on the free transform tool. Click on the Pac-Man and for some reason I have to double click and then go back by clicking that arrow. And then I can move Pac-Man like that. And then move your Pac-Man. Oops. Selection tool, move your Pac-Man. Now if I click Control and Test Movie, you can see 